Hey, it's Thomas DeLauer, but you can call me Mr. Mineral because I'm going to talk about how minerals affect our bodies in so many more ways than you might just think. It's not just about electrolyte balance. It's not just about getting your basic vitamins and minerals. There are some huge functions on the brain and on our nervous system and on our overall senses of well-being when it comes to a proper mineral balance. And for the sake of this video, I want to focus on two minerals. I want to focus on calcium and I want to focus on magnesium, particularly on magnesium. You see, I actually sit on the clinical advisory board for an organization that is really making a strong push to put magnesium into mainstream awareness. You see, we are deficient in so much magnesium simply because our soil is depleted and we're not getting it from the food anymore, but I'll, I'll save that for later in the video. I want to talk about the link between minerals and stress and that potential link between minerals and depression. You see what happens within our brain, we have something called the NMDA receptor. That's the N-methyl D aspartate receptor. And it's a receptor that sits in the neuron. And essentially what it is, is it's a gateway to that neuron. So that neuron sends a signal that cascades us into whatever response we might be having to do, whether it be a stress response, whether it be a calm response, or whatever the case may be. So when calcium comes chugging along and calcium hits that NMDA receptor, it triggers stress, positively charged ions. It triggers stress. It causes this crazy energy that can cause us to feel anxious. It may even cause us to feel depressed and it may even cause us to have a cascade of stress later on. So how does having a proper mineral balance affect this? Well, you see, in an ordinary healthy mineral balanced body, magnesium is going to be sitting on that NMDA receptor, essentially acting as a guard so when magnesium occupies that receptor, then good old calcium can't just chug along and trigger that receptor. This means a nice, calm result. It potentially means less instance of stress. It potentially means less instance of anxiety. And some research studies are even starting to show that it potentially could reduce instances of depression. Now here's what happens. When we have too much calcium in the body, calcium is going to overrun the magnesium. And that means that just by matter of preference, there's going to be more calcium and it's going to have a lot more of an opportunity to trigger that NMDA receptor and cascade us into stress. But if we keep the balance with magnesium there through our diet, through proper supplementation, it can help. But one thing that we have to be cognizant of is that minerals in general are going to get flushed out with water. That's like when you exercise a lot or you drink a lot of water, you lose your minerals. So that means you're bringing yourself back to baseline. And since much of our food is now deprived of magnesium, just through over-harvesting, but also through the traditional preserving process. You see, when we preserve food, a lot of times we add calcium phosphates in it. We add calcium to make it preserved longer. And in essence, we are overrunning this food with calcium where we're leaving just a small window for magnesium. So unless you are constantly on top of your magnesium game, if you want to call it that, and making sure that you have a sustained release of magnesium throughout the course of the day, then you're going to consistently start running into this problem. Now, you might be asking yourself how you can end up in this situation in the first place. Okay, maybe you're someone that eats a balanced diet already. Maybe you're taking magnesium supplementation. Maybe you're being aware of all your minerals like zinc, potassium. You're looking at phosphates and things like that. But the fact is, is chronic stress can actually deplete the magnesium as well. So you have this perpetual cycle. Or even if your diet is good, you could be draining magnesium, which gives calcium the opportunity to swoop on in and make you potentially more prone to stress. So it's very, very important that you find something that allows you to get a sustainable release of magnesium. And unfortunately, since our foods are so deprived of magnesium these days, a lot of it comes down to looking at proper supplementation. Now, I'm not a doctor, so I can't tell you exactly how much to take, but I can tell you that having a nice flow throughout the day can actually help keep that calcium at bay, stop that negative perpetual cycle, and potentially get you on your way to feeling your best and having more energy. As always, keep it locked in here on these educational videos, and you know that my minerals of choice are always coming from Jigsaw Health. So keep it locked in here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.